What's up guys, it's Parzival here and I'm continuing my let's play on Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, part of the Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix and part of my road to Kingdom Hearts 3. The last time we left off we made our way to Halabastion and we met all these uh, familiar faces. We got Aerith and Yuffie and Merlin and, and Sid and Leon is around here somewhere, he's actually at the Bailey where we're supposed to go. Um, really quick off screen, I went ahead and leveled up my form, my uh, Valor form to level 3. And I did that so that I could actually get a new ability, and that ability is High Jump Level 1. Now how this works is, as you level up uh, Valor Form, you're going to get a higher level of um, of High Jump. As you can see, Valor Form's level 2. Once we, uh, once we level that up a couple more, we'll be able to use High Jump Level 2 and jump a, a lot higher. Dude, that's the jump we have right now. So... I also picked up a few chests while I was out here because I needed a drive recovery. You can also get mithril shards, and uh, there's a couple puzzle pieces. I was able to get one, but I wasn't able to get the other. Let me go ahead and just take these guys out really quick because I think I'm close. Yep, I'm pretty close to leveling up. Um, yeah, so what we need to do is we're actually going to be going to the Bailey because that's where Leon told us to meet him. Uh, the Bailey is up this way towards these stairs. I'll probably have to come back a little bit off screen. I, I mean, you guys saw where all the uh, where all the stickers or all the puzzle pieces were. Uh, there's one right here that I can't get, and right here that I can get if I can get up here. Let me go ahead and grab this. That one's just a little bit out of reach, so I'm not gonna grab that. But I will get this one. And there's a chest over there that I didn't get either. Come on, make it. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, so we got. A treasure chest here inside here is a mithril shard so another synthesis material and let's head on down to the Bailey look at that We want to restore Hollow Bastion to what it used to be. Who knows? Maybe even something better. There's still a lot to do. But I'm sure we can handle everything. Except... for that... And that. We'll handle them. Well, that's good to hear. So, Sora, do you know what's going on then? There's this guy, Pete, who's been going around plotting with the Heartless. But he's not smart enough to tie his own shoes. The ones we need to worry about are the nobodies. And those Organization 13 guys in charge, too. You called? You're doing well. Who's that? This calls for a celebration. Alright, so here we have something that's new to this game, and that is objective fights. Uh, what we need to do in, in here is we actually have to take out all these nobodies while protecting the gate at the same time. If that if the gate's health bar goes down to zero, then uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a game over. So you need to make sure that doesn't happen. Luckily, we have Leon to uh, to assist us, and we also have the town's defense system. So this isn't really a difficult uh, battle to do. Um, I'm having trouble talking again today. Uh, and here we have some new enemies too. We have Samurai. Uh, oop, let me just uh, use a high potion. There we go. Uh, 
they will do a good bit of, of damage to the uh, they will do a good bit of damage to the gate, so you need to be careful with them. Uh, best thing you can probably do is just hit him with Blizzard, and it'll take him out pretty easily. Oop, get out of here. I kind of like what they did with Blizzard in this game. Uh, ooh, man, that almost could have been bad. Alright, I'm all out of magic now. Uh, this is what happens when you're out of magic. You see, it's all pink now. It's actually recharging. Ooh, dual stance. Ah, he got me. Dual Stance is, is uh, an interesting little mini game that you can do with Samurai. You actually have to pick the one that says the end. Oh, jeez, the gate. Get out of here. Wow. I did not realize I was allowing that much damage to be done to the gate. Get away from the gate. Oh, man, I really hope that the gate doesn't go down now. Come on, Leon, you're not doing your job protecting the gate. There we go. And we got a defense increase and a maximum AP increase by leveling up, and we learned fire. The Keyblade. A truly marvelous weapon. Were it only in more capable hands. <laughs> <laughs> Show yourselves! <laughs> Organization 13! Good, now we can settle this. What a shame. And here I thought we could be friends. <laughs> What's the big idea? Oopsie Daisy. Move! Now, do you think that's polite? Shutting me down like that? I said get out of the way! As if. You can talk all you want, but that won't change a thing. But we are gonna make you move! See, that would work. If I were just any old dude. Except I'm not. I'm with the organization. Nothing any old about me. Huh. Tough talk for someone who stood on the sidelines while his nobody flunkies did the fighting. Oh, dear. I think you got the wrong impression. You gonna cry? As if. Why don't I remind you how tough the crowd you're dealing with really is? Remind me? <laughs> <laughs> That's right! You used to give me that same exact look. I guess you think you can psych me out by saying really random stuff. Gee, I just don't know. Be a good boy now. Wait! What? He got away. That was weird. Who gave him the same look? You know, I think he was just trying to confuse you. Yeah, you're right. Only one me. The Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee Honorary Member. Huh? <laughs> wow! Huh? What's this? Gorsh, you think?
I get it? That must have been the gate Yen Sid talked about. Oh, boy. Sorry to run, Leon. But other worlds are calling. Organization 13. They look tough. Be careful out there. See you soon. And we got the secret anthem report number seven. Do my eyes deceive me? Does he really have the power to wield the Keyblade? He's nothing but a boy. Give him a chance. It means he's straight as an arrow. He's pure of heart. Unlike all of us here. He had better be. Or else he's worthless. I truly hope he's enjoying himself on his adventure. <laughs> Maybe he'd like a hand to determine his fate. Hey, as long as it works in our favor, we can let him do what he wants for now. Then we'll all jump in if needed. Those are bold words coming from you. Are you saying you'll volunteer to take care of it if things go wrong? Huh? What? M me? No, you have the wrong guy. I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> you act as though you have a conscience. When was the last time any one of us felt anything? Truer words were never spoken. Well, I suppose the fun will have to wait. Do you know what happens to those who lose their true purpose? Inevitably, they destroy themselves. Gentlemen. The hero of the Keyblade has embarked on a new adventure. Make sure it is one he will remember. Now go. I gotta say, I'm loving all the new cutscenes in this. In the first one, there was only like two new cutscenes, but this one has them left and right. And they actually have speaking roles in them instead of just reading text in silence. Alright, so what we did was that was the equivalent of us sealing a keyhole in the first game, and it opens up gates to new worlds. Oh, it looks like Twilight Town's gone. Hey, what happened to Twilight Town? It's gone. Use the left stick to fly the gummy ship. Try approaching the door-shaped gummy route on the screen. When you arrive at your destination, press triangle to land. You can't land in worlds not connected by gummy routes. Clear gummy routes to connect the worlds. Okay, so what we have is we have two new worlds here. Uh, one is a slightly lower battle level, which is the one that we're going to go through first. I'm going to show the first gummy mission just so that you guys can see what it is. But uh, most likely I'm just going to skip all the gummy routes. Like, you don't need to see them. But if you do want to see them, then leave a comment in this video telling me that you want to see the gummy routes. And I'll put them in there. But if I don't hear anything from anybody, I'm just going to take out the gummy ship missions. But we'll do this first one just so you guys can see. So let's do Asteroid Sweep. Alright, let's pick the high wind. We'll skip all that stuff. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the salute, Chip and or Dale. Actually, I think that was Chip. Or maybe it's Dale. I don't know. Which one has the red nose? I can't remember. I think Chip was the uh, was the Indiana Jones, right? I, I can't remember. Alright, so gummy, gummy missions in this one are quite different than they were in the first game. Uh, they have, they have lock-ons. Uh, it, it looks a lot cooler. Uh, the enemies aren't as difficult. It changes. You can change uh, between all dimensions. Uh, there's big giant enemies uh, that will be walking on the planets like this, which I think is pretty cool. That's the lock-on right there. 
does a good amount of damage to them. Um, it doesn't seem like collectibles are as important in this one if you're trying to build a gummy ship. I think it's, I, I don't know how it is in comparison to the other game, how easy, because the first game was pretty easy to build a gummy ship. And you could always go to Sid and just buy a bunch of gummy pieces. I'm not entirely sure if you can do that in this game. Um, there's also a dodge roll here, which I'm going to make really good use of later on. But I mean, like I said, you guys probably won't see that. Uh, I think it's I think it's a lot cooler. Uh, people people love this game's gummy ship sections, um, which I mean, yeah, they're cool, but uh, they're still just gummy ship sections. They don't really add all that much to the game except for just a little tiny mini game aspect, and I don't, I don't necessarily need that. But I mean, it is cool, and some of the ones later, like uh, there's one where you have to fight a pirate ship and stuff like that. Like it's it's kind of like a boss mission, a boss gummy ship mission, and uh, it kind of reminds me of, of some of the ones I think they built off of this to make the uh, make the drops in Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance because that had a lot of boss uh, boss drops and um, objectives and stuff like that, and you'll see that a few times in this, and they are a lot more fun and they they're really well done. It's it's so much more than just here's a gummy ship that's going straight forward and we're going to take out a bunch of ships they're gonna come straight at us and we need to try and not die it's it's it really is a whole lot more than that and I think that they did a really great job in the gummy ship section so once you get through it I think this is I think we're getting towards the end of it uh, at the beginning of the game they're really not that that long luckily they get pretty lengthy I think the last one is is like probably a good five straight minutes of, of gummy ships and there we go the gate is cleared yay we did it and we got mission levels one and two unlocked for trophies and we also get a new gummy ship I think yep we get the blueprint to the level one high wind and the level one Falcon so that's another thing you don't have to make a new gummy ship necessarily they'll give you some new ones also so let's move on to the world All right, now because we cleared that gate we no longer have to do a gummy mission to get to this world which is another thing that they definitely improved upon so let's go ahead and land in the land of the dragons Battle level 10, we're perfect for this one. See that Mulan? It's Shan Yu, leader of the Hun army. Come on, girl. This is your big chance. I can see it now. Fa Mulan, whoops, public enemy number one. You're gonna be famous. I'm talking A-list. Mushu, I'm not sure. I haven't even joined the army yet. I have to take my father's place to preserve the Fa family honor. I just hope I don't get discovered. Whatever. You're just scared. Admit it. Aren't you? Hmm. Huh? Uh-huh. Yes. Let's get the jump on him. Gorge. Maybe we better look before we leap. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Is that Mushu? That's right. I know you heard of me. I'm little, lethal, and legendary. Now y'all scram before I get my dragon danda up. Hey, Mushu. We missed you. Yeah, well, you better hope I miss you, or else you're... you're... Sora! Donald! Goofy! Do you know them? Know them? 
Man, we used to kick all kinds of bad guy butt together. Yeah, you know I help these guys out of a lot of tight spots. Cause I'm a mighty dragon, right? Something like that. And you are? I'm Mulan. Um, <clears throat> no, I, I, I mean... Ping! Mulan Ping! Just Ping. I am Ping, son of Fazu. You know Mushu? Mushu's one of my family's guardians. We didn't know we were borrowing somebody as important as a family guardian. Yeah, that's right. And that puts you three up to your eyeballs in debt to Ping here. Well, guess what, kitties? It's payback time. Oh, show. Ah, they don't mind. Ain't that right? Hmm, sounds fair. See, Ping here was just on his way to join the Imperial Army. We gotta go find the other recruits over at the training camp. Would you join us? It'll be easier to fit in if I'm with guys like you. What do you mean, fit in? Well, uh, uh, don't, don't worry about that. You're pretending to be a boy, aren't you? Huh? What? You're a girl? You didn't notice? Not me. I think it's working. I don't know. Those two would fall for anything. I'm right here. Help! And that's right, girls. We have a Mulan level, the Land of Dragons. So now we get a new party member. This is the same thing as the old game, but we're actually going to have Ping instead of Mulan. Uh, to utilize the uh, my the healing aspect of this game, I'm actually going to keep Donald in there for right now. Uh, one thing I should say is Ping totally sucks. Uh, I don't know if, if it's her uh, armor that she's wearing that slows her down, but Ping is just not that great. So the party command has been added. This command allows a quick exchange of party members. Use this command to switch party members during battles when menus can't be opened. That's another thing, we don't have to go to a save point anymore to uh, to switch out party members. We can just do it right here, see? Want to switch out Donald? It's that easy. I like it a lot. Alright, let's see what's in here. We got a dark shard. We got another one. Oh, lots of chests here. Mithril shard. We got an ether. We can go to this moogle and drop off all of our synthesis materials. Maybe we can get something. Items from previously visited shops will become available in shops in large towns. Okay, so we can actually get all this stuff now. The Abyss Chain, that's probably pretty good. Okay, don't really need anything. I'm gonna drop off all my synthesis materials. Get those out of my stock. And we're gonna go and dive into the Land of the Dragons in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and slap that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy, my friends.